I sometimes need a bit of a lift on crisp early winter mornings and for as long as I can remember, my cup of tea has been my companion. Light milk, my tea is lighter than ever, but it still packs a punch. It helps me live light as it has 50% less fat but 100% great taste. Mm. And I especially need it today as I prepare for my first ever Dubai women's run. I'm Donna Benton. Hi, I'm Kavita Pradeep. I'm Upashri Nayak. I'm Vajeline Tumbaga Federico. My name is Advocate Bima Ansar. My name is Tana Sajan. I'm a woman of substance. 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 I am a woman of substance. I'm a woman of substance. I'm Anne Beatrice and I'm a woman of substance. I'm Sandy Saxena and I am a woman of substance. Welcome to Dove Nourishing Secrets presents Body and Mind Season 3 powered by Elaine Dairy. Now when you run for a cause, the motivation is so much greater. There's a purpose, a spirit and the finish line isn't too far. So I'm about to participate in my first ever Dubai Women's Run, an event that has been empowering women since 2010. So see you at the finish line and here's how it all started. Dubai Women's Run uh, was an initiative by the UAE Athletic Federation. I think it was a platform just to be focused on women and uh, what it made is now this is the biggest platform on a sporting level in the Middle East. So I think uh, as the vision for the rulers of uh, having a specific direction to be given to and creating women's uh, platform, this is one of the initiatives by the Federation which is a government initiative. I think uh, fitness, health is something that probably has taken up uh, and uh, as we see uh, the fitness challenge happening 30 by 30. This also only gives the direction from the government. So I think we all realize this, that health, fitness is a very integral part of our, our society. It's giving us the whole body, mind and soul holistic approach towards it. And um, besides everything else, it's the vision of the Dubai or the UAE as a whole, we would say that that goes in sync with this event because it is all about women empowerment. More importantly, it is about bringing the people together, not just for a run. It is a phenomena. I am a believer in healthy body, healthy mind. I think it's fantastic that the Dubai Women's Run happens. I think it's great that all these women can train prior to it. I think it's fantastic that it's a great enthusiasm for everybody. It doesn't matter what fitness level you are, but you can either walk it, you can either run it, you can do it with your friends. If you've just had a baby, you can wheel the pram, you can be competitive. And I think Dubai is becoming such a fitness hub at the moment. I think it gives our women a, a space to come together and to really bounce off each other's energy. Um, I'm all about finding your vibe, finding your frequency and I think this is one of those races that uh, allows women to, to do that. So surprised when I moved here recently to see that there was so much going on. So I know I went down to Cart Beach recently and I did a class down there. I've also joined a running club and I feel like everywhere I go there's people to link up with and um, the culture here in terms of but being healthy and active is amazing. I think every country should be like this. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right guys, so I've just completed my first ever Dubai Women's Run. 
the 5K challenge. I'm so beat, but it's been one of the most exhilarating experiences of my life. Um, to, to start off with, it was quite, I felt quite emotional. I became a little bit misty eyed. I don't know if you guys noticed because, I mean, to do such a sport with such a large group of women, it was a very empowering experience and there were women of all walks of life. Uh, there were women pushing strollers, there were older women, there were kids and um, it was an amazing experience altogether. Now having said all of that, I am parched. So I'm going to cool down with my Elaine Dairy apple juice. What's great about this is that it's got no added sugar or preservatives and it also reduces the risk of uh, cholesterol and I really need to hydrate. So I'm going to go collect my medal and speak to some really inspiring people. Alright guys, I'm with one of the brand ambassadors of the Dubai Women's Run, the one and only, very dapper, handsome Sonu Sood. Hi Sonu, how's it going? Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, so good, good to, see to see you. My goodness, good you're really tall. You make me feel tiny. Yeah, no, no, no. You're looking pretty, so don't worry. <laughs> Sonu, I mean, what's it like being part of uh, a challenge which is, I mean, it's very female driven. Yeah. What's it like as a man to be a part of a cause like this? So I think it, it inspires me a lot, you know, when you see all the mothers, daughters, wives running and their husbands waiting. I, 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 I can see a, a sense of pride in them that they're waiting for their partners to come yes. back and when uh, they come with all those medals I, I feel you know that's the best part yes. you you can't um, uh, you know compare the feeling when yes. even if you win the uh, race I think still uh, if, if your wife or a mother uh, you know finishes a 5k or a 10k I think it's, it's a huge uh, moment of pride for them so I, I feel really blessed to be a part of this whole thing and uh, I, I'm, I'm really proud to be yeah. a, a part of this yeah. marathon family. Sonu, it's been an absolute you pleasure so much, meeting yeah. you. Thank you so hopefully, much. hopefully, I'll see you again next, Looking next year. Looking forward, yeah. Okay. God bless you. Thank you. I'm with Sandy Saxena, who is the Officer of Empowerment and one of the women of substance here at the Dubai Women's Run. Sandy, it's so good to see you. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, now, now let's address the elephant in the room. Why are you wearing a sari? All right, two reasons for that. Yeah. One reason, of course, is because I'm Indian and yes. I want to make sure that India is well represented. Beautiful. But more important, the other reason is uh, there is this village in uh, in Kerala yeah. that was washed away by the floods. I think that's called Chendamangala. Correct, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So the weavers of that village, the women weavers, are the ones who weave these saris. Yeah. They're so beautiful. But unfortunately, the village was absolutely washed, washed. away in the floods. And so all the, the looms, everything were destroyed. So we are supporting them by wearing their saris. Uh, raising money for them so that they can get back to business. Absolutely. I mean, being from Kerala, this was a cause that greatly affected a lot of my exactly. extended relatives. And I think it's a fabulous cause that you are running for. Uh, tell us a little bit about what uh, Women of Substance is. Well, actually, the Women of Substance is a concept uh, which has been uh, designed by Harmeek Singh, who is uh, the chairperson of the Buy Women's Run okay. from Plan B. And uh, he had the purpose of taking this uh, empowerment of women way beyond just the run. So we are eight of us and each of us stands for something in particular. So mine is financial independence for women across the board. Now this is a wonderful platform because Women of Substance is for the entire UAE. So I'm going to get an amazing platform to take forward my message which is empowering women through the women, sorry, through the financial yeah. independence I think platform. that I think that's in, if you ask me the most important uh, aspect I think you can really empower a woman by uh, you know making sure she's financially stable and that she doesn't need a man to really exactly. be dependent on Sandy it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you thank you so thank much you and so much great job with me. everything that God you're bless. doing we have seen our mothers our grandmothers all uh, doing every kind of work in a sari so how we empower is we are empowering new generation which is we are standing for a special cause that is promote our culture, our heritage. Our heritage means especially handloom sector, which is dying. So empowering the current generation as well as the younger generation to promote more in an international platform as well as, you know, we can do anything in a sari. Why not a run? Sari Ross! We just interviewed a woman of substance who ran in a sari and we live in the UAE so a buyer 
has to be a front runner and for that I'm joined by Madupe who's the fashion consultant of Runway Dubai. Madupe, hi, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Your buyer is gorgeous by thank the way. You. Thank you um, so much. I believe through Dubai, uh, through Runway Dubai you channel so many different causes, yes. uh, fitness being one of them. Yes. You also really like to support the Down Syndrome community. Yes. Okay, so um, Runway Dubai is a platform that started out of a necessity. It, there was a gap in the industry when I moved here. So there was no um, opportunities for emerging talent to show their collection. So I started Runway Dubai and I said, it's not just going to be a platform for fashion. I want to include everybody that has that wants to include themselves in the industry. Like I had the um, Down Syndrome model, she's from Australia and I invited her to stop, um, open the show one year. And we did fitness with Venus Williams and fitness awareness. And we also did this year with Natalie Odin, autism awareness. So we always want to include people in the society. That's very inspiring. Thank you so much for joining me, Madupe, and full power to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sorry guys, but that's the closest I'm gonna be getting to biting the medal. This might not be an Olympic medal, but you know, this is my 5K run at the Dubai Women's Run and what an experience it was. I only did the 5K, but there were women older than me who didn't have much training who did the 10K. So that's some motivation for me to come back again next year. All right, time for me to head out for a break. Make sure you stay tuned because on the other side, I will be enjoying some delicious but healthy treats. Yeah, hi everyone, this is Sonu Su. Just want to tell everyone that you know fitness is one thing you have to live, breathe and worship. It's about uh, inspiring your kids, it's about inspiring your parents. So just stay fit, wellness is very, very important. No matter how busy you are, you have to find time for yourself because fitness is one thing that's only for yourself. And just go hit the gym, run and make this a globe, a fitter place to live. You know, for me, fitness is something uh, which comes automatically. You get up in the morning, uh, you brush your teeth, so it's like for me also, you know, going to the gym is like brushing my teeth. It has to happen, no matter how much I'm traveling, no matter how busy I am. So just uh, always believe there are only 22 hours in a day. Rest two hours of fitness, and that's what I've been believing from all these years. Here. Welcome back to Dove Nourishing Secrets presents Body and Mind Season 3, powered by Elaine Derry. Now help me out with this one. Is it pronounced Akai or Asai? Now there, there might be a few doubts when it comes to its pronunciation, but there certainly aren't any when it comes to its nutritional value. If anything, it is considered the top member of the superfood squad and some places known as nature's purple gold. So today we explore a place that is dedicated to the goodness of acai. <laughs> So it's time to put this mystery to bed because it is really doing my head in. So to help me out with that, I'm joined by the founder, Ayman, of Projecto Asai. Asai, that's what it's called. Thank you. I could have sworn I would have pronounced it as Akai. Yeah, yeah. People Am I get the confused. first person? No, no, many people get confused. Don't worry. All right, Ayman, this is something that started off as a family business, but you took over, revamped it, gave it a whole new look. I love the ambience of the restaurant, by the way. Thank you Kudos so much. That. It's all about colors, isn't it? It is, it is. It's about vibrancy, good vibes, good music, good food, all about, you know, feeling good. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about Projecto uh, Asai, right? <laughs> yes, Projecto Asai. Because Asai, from the little bit that I know of it, is a Brazilian superfood, popular mainly in the Amazon region, I believe. Yeah, well, that's where it comes from. Uh -huh. And then it spread popularity throughout Brazil and then the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. so. so is that how you decided to really capitalize on it and start a whole brand? Yeah, the first time I went to Brazil, I tried it and I fell in love at the first taste. And I realized there wasn't many options in Dubai for SAE. Mm. So that's how it really came to life. It was kind of a selfish thing. I wanted SAE myself. Did so. you? 
Hello. Now, now, guys, this is Ayman's first time on TV, and honestly, this is my first time trying acai. So it's a little bit of a first time for the two of us. It is. So um, my, you're going to listen to my verdict very soon. So I'm going to start off with the first bowl. Tell me about this one. Sure. So you're having the berry bowl, and on top we have an extra vegan sugar-free brownie. Uh, so it's a good mix of uh, vitamins, very good uh, antioxidants as well. Gives you energy throughout the day. And we also have a homemade granola in that as well. Mm. So it's, it's, it's a good balance. Now that I've tasted it, honestly, I don't know. I, I've probably had it in the past, but not paid as much attention. To me personally, it tastes like a bunch of berries mashed together in the form of a sorbet or even like a frozen yogurt or a compote for that matter. Do you, do you agree with me? Yeah, I mean, for everyone, uh, people do say the same thing. It's, it, it is a sorbet, so it's frozen. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and it has a, almost a dark, chocolatey kind of berry taste. Mm. Uh, but it's, it's delicious and, and I'm glad you like it. Would yeah. you say this is a good, or oh, it's a popular breakfast dish? It's very popular in the morning because it gives you energy throughout the day. Uh, but it is also very popular pre or post workout. Uh, so really, you can eat it any time of the day. Now moving on to one of your popular main courses. Um, tell me about this one. What is it? So this is a poke bowl. Uh, this specific poke bowl is the surfer salmon. Uh, so it's a Hawaiian dish actually. So it's another tropical kind of very healthy, vibrant dish. Uh, the base on this one is brown, uh, is white rice. Uh, but we do have quinoa as an option for the base and greens as well. Uh, and then it's mixed with different vegetables. This one's with avocado, edamame beans, mango, cucumber, salmon as well and it's topped with uh, a bit of uh, caramelized walnuts as well as chili. I mean the camera definitely picked it up but this is one of the most vibrant colorful bowls uh, that you know that you can ever be presented with because it's got the goodness of everything it's got the perfect balance of nutrition at the same time what I really like about this is that besides the rice which is at the base everything else is in its raw form so people if you like to eat uh, if you like sushi if you like raw salmon if you like you know, your edamames, then I think this is a perfect bowl for that. And great for, again, like you said earlier, pre or post workout. Simon, you've decided to really spoil me today because now you're serving me another one of your best sellers, which is your avocado on toast. Tell yes. me about it. So this is the classic avocado on toast that we have. Uh, we use Mexican uh, Haas avocados, which are imported. Uh, and is that it's, different from your regular avocados? The yeah, so you get Kenyan avocados, uh, but you know, avocados are originally from Mexico and, and the avocados grow the best there uh, and they're the tastiest from Mexico. So we really try and get the best ingredients mm -hmm. and it's a simple dish uh, and it's all about the quality of, of the ingredients. Yeah, yeah even, even taste wise, I mean, it's your simple avocado on toast. You don't need to do an awful lot to it. I mean, the seasoning is very light, so you can still taste the goodness of avocado and avocado is so good on its own. But remind me the next time I come here, I want to try the one with the poached egg on top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure I will. Thank you. Okay, it's delicious and I believe that this was voted as one of the best by Love in Dubai. Yeah, Love in Dubai voted it the best ever on toast in Dubai, which was, you know, a very prideful moment for me because yeah. there's so many good avocado and toast in Dubai, but you know, people uh, really said that ours was the best. So. And that's that's a great boost for a startup business such as yourself. Fascinating. Although I have a bone to pick with you. I used to live around this neighborhood up until like a year ago and you didn't open this healthy joint. And as soon as I left the neighborhood, bam, here's one of the top places for Sorry healthy food. This is the sort of place I would have wanted to come to after gym, but it's okay. I'll forgive you for that one. Sorry, we couldn't do it sooner, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for having me at your restaurant. Thank you for, for coming, yeah. All right, guys, that's it from Projecto Asai. I think I pronounced it correctly this time. On my way out, I just want to quickly remind you guys the benefits of Alain Dairy Camel Milk. Now, camel milk, in case you guys didn't know, is a great probiotic and is also rich in vitamin B1 and calcium. And calcium, as we all know, is great for your teeth. Speaking of dental hygiene, Signal have an important message for you guys and they want to talk about how they use natural ingredients in all their products. Body and Mind Season 3, powered by Elaine Dairy. 
Turkey, Morocco and the Emirates. The treatment that I'm about to undergo today takes its inspirations from all these regions. Sounds good, doesn't it? So maybe by the end of it, I might be beaming like a Turkish princess with a bit of a Moroccan glow, paired with a touch of Emirati charm. Wishful thinking, I know. But what's great is that today I'm filming at Anantara right here at the Eastern Mangroves. The Hammam is probably the oldest surviving bath tradition in the world and this ancient steam bath ritual has gained wide popularity ever since. As I laid on the warm hammam, my therapist applied the black hammam soap all over my face and started to massage gently before washing it off with the Kesa glove. After a quick wash, she began to exfoliate my skin with the Zatar body scrub to remove all the dirt and dead skin clogging my pores. She then continued to massage me with the Nigel circulating body oil, relaxing my muscles and joints. The most exciting part about the whole hammam experience definitely was being bathed in warm foam. This is the zenith moment that brings in so much excitement while being pampered. It is a one-of-a-kind feeling that is hard to describe in words. We ended this unique experience with some refreshing, rosa-hydrating facial mist. Well, Ash, how was your experience today? My goodness, this is such a perfect Instagrammable moment right now because I'm by the beautiful Anantara Eastern Mangroves. There's a stunning infinity pool, fresh fruit platter, refreshing mocktail, and I've just had the most relaxing hammam experience. So what's not to love about this? Oh, I'm, I'm envious of you. So tell me a little bit more. What was your favorite parts of the treatment? You know, Daniela, this is actually my first time trying the hammam. Mm -hmm. And it's very different from your more traditional um, sort of uh, treatments that you experience in yes. a spa. Because first of all, it's not on a regular soft bed. It's on not top of a marble. Um, and secondly, what I really enjoyed the most about the treatment was the pampering aspect of it because post the massage it was not not only did she wash me and pretty much bathe me she also dried me i felt like i was it's like how i put my daughter to bed every night only thing this time it was a bit of a role reversal you didn't have to move a finger. no i didn't and i particularly enjoyed the second half of the treatment so once i got out of the steam room she massaged me with this amazing smelling product what was that it's a moroccan mint body wash oh. organic and locally sourced ingredients it smelled so good it really ignites all your senses and it was so relaxing on the skin as and well very hydrating yeah very hydrating and post that is when the real fun starts oh. with the foam bath i almost felt like i was in a car wash only i was the car because i had foam <laughs> thrown, thrown all over me and then she massaged me and washed me Quite i thought that was foam. a very fun experience that that definitely was uh, one of the highlights and the real um, treatment that I experienced was once the cameras got out of the room because that's when she could properly massage my legs all over oh. she stretched me and I mean she was amazing, oh, amazing. <laughs> I could take her home with me Sarah the therapist she bless her she was so good yeah Sarah is one of our top top therapists yeah and, and tell me what are some of the benefits of hammam and some of the products that you use today? Sure. Now, hammam is one of the most ancient treatments actually that if you look into the history of spa and massages, it was it dates back to the Roman ancient times. And it's a deep cleansing, um, detoxifying treatment. So it's especially popular amongst you know um, this region yeah. purely for the purification reasons mm -hmm. and also it obviously nourishes and moisturizes the skin from head to toe we include the the hair we include the body and it leaves you smelling beautiful daniela i promise you i'm gonna come back once the camera guys are off i'll probably come back next month with my family and get a full Please experience do. of the anantara spa thank you so much for having me it's a pleasure and hope to see you again very soon thanks ash Guys, I could just sit here all day because I've got the soothing sight of the eastern mangroves, the amazing sounds of the water and the nature, and of course, the oh-so-relaxing spa treatment I had today. 
This experience is going to stay with me for quite some time, I must say. Now, speaking of time, it's time for me to head to Dubai. And you guys, make sure you come straight back same time next week.